This is a story about a country in Southeast Asia that often doesn't get much attention. Malaysia. In March, Malaysia was failing. Newspapers published articles about how Malaysia was struggling against COVID-19. Malaysia had three times more cases than any country in Southeast Asia. The virus was in every state and federal territory. What makes the story even more sad is how the infection spread. Not from Malaysians partying or being badly behaved. It spread from a religious gathering. Malaysians being well-behaved citizens had unknowingly spread COVID-19. But here is where the story gets interesting. Malaysia's government quickly made adjustments. Movement Control Order, or MCO, roadblocks, closed events, closed schools, closed non-essential businesses. Malaysia would do MCO 2.0 or the Enhanced Movement Control Order. For anywhere where there are several cases, all businesses were closed, roads all blocked, no one in or out, no one could leave their homes. But don't worry, food and medical care were provided. And Malaysia's case numbers? They started to drop. On April 14th, the Philippines passed Malaysia in COVID-19 cases. The next day, Indonesia. Two days later, Singapore. Singapore is a much smaller country with a population five times smaller. Singapore now has 15 times the case rate of Malaysia. Malaysia is an example that we can all overcome this. How a country that had so many cases did the right stuff to stop the spread. And almost no media is talking about it. Even myself, I am guilty of this. I made a video of the top 15 countries fighting COVID-19 and Malaysia wasn't included. But luckily, one of my Malaysian followers pointed out Malaysia's story. Malaysia's COVID-19 numbers are good, but when you realize at one point they were three times worse than any country in Southeast Asia, and now they're one of the best, it's an incredible story that needs to be told. So I ask you to help me let the world know Malaysia's story.